What's up everyone, it's Tim here from Tutorials Hub. Now today we're taking a look at OmniParser V2. Uh, we're going to also take a look at how to use it. Basically, this is a um, AI image parser, meaning that it's basically a tool and software component that analyzes and interprets the content of an image to extract meaningful information from the image. That's what what uh, an image parser is. And uh, this OmniParser V2 is actually um, developed by Microsoft. So as you can see, um, compared to its predecessors, it achieves higher accuracy in detecting smaller interactable elements and faster inference, making it a useful tool for GUI automation. In particular, uh, the V2 is trained with larger set of interactive elements, detection data and icon functional caption data. Now, as you can see, here is just like a, an example and model performance compared to other, uh, obviously, uh, image parsers and tools. Uh, but you can kind of see how that compares. Now, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to get right here in the spaces. So we have hugging uh, face space which is called OmniParser v2. So you can also install this locally if you want. It's an open source model, uh, but we're not going to do that today. We're going to just go and uh, drop an image here and see how it can actually parse an image and give us the data right here. So let's click here. And as you can see, I have an image right here. Uh, it's a screenshot of me recording a uh, video on my blog. So let's open it here and you will see how it actually looks like in a second once we upload the file here. So let's just uh, see, it's still uploading one file. Keep in mind, if you're going to upload this on um, Hugging Face, obviously, since you're uploading the file, right, and you're using other people's, um, you know, uh, other people's like uh, graphic card, uh, then it's going to be very, very slow. So uh, as you can see, we have box threshold. Now, obviously you can, you can don't, don't mess around with these. You can mess around and see how it came out in terms of image input, but let's just submit. And as you can see, since we're using other people's GPUs, as I said, it's going to be a little bit waiting time. So as you can see right here, we have it here. So it basically parsed uh, the each element right here. As you can see, so if we click on it, if we actually download this, let me actually show you. So we go here, as you can see, this is how it looks like. So each element is basically um, labeled as a number and then it's also explained right here. So for example, as you can see, interactivity, false content, auto SEO books. Um, as you can see, latest article, this is eight. So we have eight, it's right here, latest article, right? So everything is pretty much, you know, done uh, with precision. And basically, you know, um, usually uh, the use cases for this is, for example, self-driving cars, right? Recognizing traffic, signs and obstacles. So let's say you have like a self-driving car, you know, that's what, what it can do. Social media, it can also automatically tag friends in photos. Uh, like that's also one uh, use case that you can kind of use this for uh, e-commerce, right? It's visual search to find products based on images, right? So very, very good to, for uh, visual search. And then obviously healthcare, right? Analyzing medical images, x-rays, stuff like that. So this is a really, really awesome tool, right? Now let's take a look at some uh, other things like let's go to, for example, a car. And let's go like this. So front view of a car or front view from a seating of a car. So let's do like that. So as you can see, so what we can do is we can probably save this, right? And let's see what it can do with that. So if I go here, if I just do this, let's upload this and let's see what it can do with this. So again, we can obviously play around with these, right? Let's play around with these. Let's see what it, we can do. Again, it's very fast, right? It's very fast. It, it basically gives you results immediately almost. 
right immediately almost <laughs> 11 seconds but yeah um, you can see the image output as well if you're using this locally it will take up some of your VRAM obviously um, but as you can see it actually struggles a little bit with this particular image here maybe that's because it's realistic or maybe it's because AI generated image here so as you can see 36 seconds for this right so it does take some time however um, maybe that's because of the EU EOU threshold here that I put who knows but let's take a look so 53 seconds almost one minute here guys so let's see so I actually used different image this time and as you can see it actually failed to to fetch the faces some of the faces or catch the faces so if I even go this and if I play around with this I don't think it will actually go and and do its own thing so it is kind of uh, yeah as you can see so yeah it is kind of uh, difficult to catch the faces I guess for the AI uh, but yeah those are kind of the use cases that I uh, presented before so yeah this is pretty much what you can use OmniParser for it's a very simple tool however it can be really great tool in the future uh, again with the realistic images I see that it's much easier but with AI images it's it's a bit harder I waited for 80 seconds for the previous image and it didn't really generated any results so uh, yeah you can check out this if you go to spaces and then just go here and uh, you have it here spaces of the week and you can check it out so hopefully you guys enjoyed the video hopefully you find it useful we'll see you in the next video thank you guys for watching